Hello everyone. Today I am going to deal with some of the very important problems concerning the use of square roots when it comes to numerical ability questions and if in these types of problems you do not have the knowledge of the shortcuts these problems are nearly impossible to attempt so i am going to deal with some of the problems which i have already listed down here and i'll tell you how all these problems can be done in hardly 2 or 3 seconds time if you have the knowledge of the shortcuts which i am going to tell you just now so the my my first type of problem is when we have one number and the square root of that number is repeating n number of times in the problem like in this problem we have 5 repeated four times so if in these two problems if we consider x as the number which is repeating number being repeated and y as the number of square roots so you just need x and y and you can tell what is the correct answer of this the shortcut for this is you have to remember this formula the base of the answer will be x that is the number which is being repeated and it will be raised to the power of 2 raised to power y minus 1 upon 2 raised to power y 2 raised to power y minus 1 upon 2 raised to power y so like in this first problem we have x as 5 and 2 raised to power y y means the number of square roots so here we have four square roots so 2 raised to power 4 minus 1 upon 2 raised to power 4 so the answer will be 5 raised to power now 2 raised to power 4 is 16 so 16 minus 1 15 upon 16 so this is the answer for the first problem similarly you can apply this rule for the second problem here the number is 7 so x is 7 and 2 raised to power y y means number of square roots so here the number of square roots is 3 so 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 upon 2 raised to power 3 so your answer is 7 raised to power 2 cube is 8 8 minus 1 7 7 upon 8 so this is the answer for the second question see this small formula if remembered can help us find the answer of this problem in just about 2 seconds now coming to another one now we have the same sequence repeating square roots of a number but here we have these square roots being repeated infinite number of times so when the square roots of the same number is repeated infinite number of times it solves our problem we do not have to apply any formula for finding the answer of this question the answer of this question will be the number itself the number which is being repeated so no thinking about this and the square roots if repeated infinite number of times will give us that number only now what happens when a number is repeated the square root of the number is repeated but we have a positive sign or a negative sign in between so here we have two more problems of a different nature where we have not the product but the sum or the difference now what happens is here we have the number 20 being repeated so what we do is we write 20 as a product of two natural numbers but these na two natural numbers should be consecutive like we cannot write 20 as 2 into 10 because 2 and 10 have a difference of 8 we have to write 20 such that the two factors differ by 1 so we can easily tell that 20 can be written as 5 into 4 similarly when you have difference 
you apply the same rules here we have 42 and 42 can be written as 7 into 6 again the difference of the two factors should be 1 they should be consecutive natural numbers now when you have positive sign then your answer is the higher number of the two factors so in this case we have 5 into 4 5 is the higher number so the larger number will be the answer so your answer for this question is 5 and when we have a negative sign then the smaller number will be your answer so the answer for this fifth question is 6 now knowing this simple rule will enable you to solve this kind of problems in numerical aptitude entrance examinations in just one second but if you do not know the rule then i think this cannot be solved in an entrance examination paper now coming to the final one we have square roots of different numbers and in between we have positive or it may be negative sign also now when this happens you have to start from the innermost square root so this innermost square root is square root of 25 is 5 11 plus 5 is 16 so square root of 16 is 4 so 60 plus 4 is 64 likewise you carry on removing one square root after the other square root 25 5 5 plus 11 is 16 square root 16 is 4 60 plus 4 64 square root 64 is 8 28 plus 8 is 36 so square root 36 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 and under root 9 is 3 so your answer is 3 see likewise you can solve any number of problems related to these and these are the very basic questions of square roots which occur in entrance examinations keep learning keep enjoying and do not forget to subscribe the channel if you like the videos thank you